Good morning. More than a century has passed since the Ark ship Chrysanthemum carried a quarter million of our ancestors here from Earth. Our home, New Terra, was never easy to tame, but the challenges have only banded us together and made us stronger. When we overcame these challenges, we have only grown and gained significant leaps in technology. Now, more than ever, we are ready to look back to the stars. Today marks a momentous occasion in history. The first maiden voyage of our new state-of-the-art science ship, the CNS Pilgrim. We will seek out the secrets of the universe. We will answer the question, are we alone? We will locate our old home Earth and reclaim it. We will finally reach out into the cosmos and take what is rightfully ours. We are the Commonwealth of Man! <laughs> the Commonwealth of Man, protecting you for a better tomorrow. Welcome to the Commonwealth of Man. Uh, more than a century has passed since the great Ark ship Chrysanthemum carried a quarter million of our ancestors from distant Earth to the garden world we have come to know as New Terra. After a long and perilous journey, the colonists rejoiced when they first saw sunlight again, albeit from a foreign star. The early years were difficult. Citizen militias were formed to fight off the lethal alien wildlife that we found ourselves sharing our new home with and cultivating the terrestrial cor crops that had been brought proved harder than imagined. Yet for each challenge overcome, we have become stronger. Once this new world has been tamed, our no numbers grew exponentially. The last few decades have seen great leaps in technology, and we are now finally ready to reach out and reclaim the stars from whence we came. All right, so uh, we're gonna be playing as the Commonwealth of Man. Um, yeah, so, uh, I guess humans, uh, attempted to colonize a new star, um, but the colony ship got lost. Um, so we landed in this moon of New Terra, and, uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, let's start, uh, researching. Uh, let's go with just, uh, the research bonus. I think I'm gonna start with, uh, Strikecraft, actually. Policy-wise, uh, we're going to stay with Expansionist for now, Unrestrictive Wars, uh, Oppressive Vassalage. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so we have been uh, very much tested by our new home and uh, ready to make our way out into the universe. Alright, let's uh, start by building a mining station. Probably energy. We'll go with that. And then we will send out the US Pilgrim. Looks like we've got an Alpine world close by, so we will start making our way. Oh, hold on. We can do this right away. <laughs> Alright, let's do that. We will add more. Alright, we have found no traces of the four Ark ships that passed through the wormhole before the Chrysanthemum arrived at New Terra. One ship, the Hyacinth, was scheduled to make the passage after us, and the Chrysanthemum's long-range sensors reported a brief energy spike from the wormhole shortly before it destabilized and vanished. Assuming the Hyacinth survived the passage and made it to our galactic neighborhood, the Ark ship has so far failed to establish contact with us. It might be a good idea to search nearby systems for signs of its presence. Let's, uh, New let's sit rep. So we'll see if we can uh, find it. We've got our capital here. 
Alright, our new science ship is uh, surveying the first solar system outside of our uh, outside of our own in a completely unknown galaxy, an unknown part of the galaxy. Construction complete. All right, we got our mining station up and running. I think we'll pop a second one in there. Um, I think I'm going to build another science ship uh, so we can start surveying more stuff around us. All right, the Yut Empire. We have received, recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization. Our scientists think they inhabited this region of stars roughly six million years ago. Based on the age of the artifacts, the aliens called themselves the Yut and appeared to have very large and flat arthropod and analogies. Analogs. It seems a single individual could reach a length of nearly 100 meters as an adult, and it was apparently exceedingly rare for more than two or three yet to tra travel aboard the same starship. New sit rep. All right, contact report remnants. The administration on Terra received the report on the alien remnants with some apprehension. The remains in question are now widely considered to be definitive proof of unknown forces having once having been active in the galaxy through some prominent human thinkers reject this in favor of identifying the traces as freak geological formations or results of curious natural phenomena. Remarkable. First contact protocols. Uh, I think we're going to be incredibly aggressive because we want to assert our power and dominance over the galaxy. Speaking of, we should build up our forces. New Terra, I think we should build Construction complete. alloy foundries when we can. Just, um, we can grab that research station now that the uh, mining station is done. Looks like this Alpine world is only 30%, but I think we could still colonize it. We found a new archaeological site. Interesting. A small canyon of sorts has been carved into the surface of this moon by the violent impact of a starship. What remains of the vessel can still be found on the canyon floor. Although the crash must have occurred eons ago, the wreckage appears to be reasonably intact. An archaeological expedition will be able to learn. Interesting. Well, since this is the first one that we're going to uh, pick up, that's going to be very good. All right, let's see. Uh, we'll probably pick up them so they can take care of our engineering research. Uh, who is leading? They're leading engineering. All right, we can instate them. All right, and then let's start. Uh, let's start exploring. Construction complete. Right. Uh, let's move her down here. Get ready to claim that system. Looks like we got a nebula right near near us. I kind of want to get another science ship going, but I'm going to wait a little bit. All right, we got our first tradition. Let's go with uh, expansion. Um, just so we can get that extra colony development speed. Keep building up our fleet. System reconnaissance completed. All right, we have a system that's been surveyed. Nice. We will claim the system for the Commonwealth of Man. we can have 
all of the planets surveyed around us, and we can start. Construction complete. Right, let's get that mining station up and running. Mm -hmm. And then we might wait on the research. Anomaly found. All right, mm -hmm. nice. Got new skills. She's uh, got statecraft. Do we already have someone in? We do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, if there's that one, we can. What is our anomaly? Small rectangular object. Interesting. We'll go ahead and research that. Now let's get those alloy foundries online to prepare to support our new fleet. Actually, hold on. Let's just build another industrial district and we can get those foundries online. Construction complete. Alright, we now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Terra. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on habitable life bearing worlds. Um, I think we can do that. New sit rep. Uh, alien Bureau. While conducting surface scans, science officer Eleanor Gibbons and the crew of the CNS Pilgrim discovered what appears to be an artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the moon, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. New sit rep. Excellent. Why don't you uh, go ahead and translate that right now, and then after continue your survey. Nice. We've got our next uh, tradition. Uh, the frontiers of our star nation are being pushed ever forward. Soon, nothing in this galaxy will lie beyond our grasp. I think we should go for that influence class over an additional pop. Pick that up next time, and then we'll colonize this world. Um, I think we're going to want this next because of the six minerals. Keep building up our fleet. Let's see what the diligent is up to. Survey. Special project complete. All right, science officer Eller Eleanor Gibbons has managed to partially translate the alien mural discovered on Doria 3A. It is a memorial for an extinct alien race that once maintained a small interstellar empire in this region of the galaxy. They were apparently ex exterminated by the creators of this mural, a fact that they seem to regret. Given that the mural has been dated to be in excess of 300 million years old, it is likely that its creators are also extinct by now. Perhaps the most interesting of all is the material that the mural was made of. Despite its age, it is in remarkably good condition. Excellent, look at this. There in the world. Anomaly found. Impressive, impressive structures. Litteradoria's. Doria 1A surface, practically begging for some archaeological work. So we can research that. Our industrial district is about to come online. Nice. Um, our amenities are sort of low. We could build another city, or we could go for hollow, hollow theaters. Or we could get amenities from that. I think we'll go with hollow theaters. Doria 1A is uninhabited and indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Its surface is littered with tall ceno cenotaphs carved from some material not native to the planet, evidently placed here by some artistically inclined spacefaring race. The monolith's following lines deftly chart a history so fantastical it must surely be fictional. Surely. We will image them from the archives. Right. Wow, look at that system. Alright, let's get another construction ship online. And another science ship. Get ready to continue expanding. 
System reconnaissance completed. Nice, that is a juicy system. Six on those asteroids, we need that. We'll pick that up as soon as possible. Looks like our scientists are progressing very well. Alright, so let's pick up the colonization fever. And then I think once we complete this, we will go colonize because that development speed is going to increase quite a bit. Alright, let's get another scientist. studies. Um, let's see. We need 150, don't we? We can wait a little bit and then pick one up in a couple months. Uh, the Pathfinder can head this direction. Alright. The uh, new Hollow Theaters are about to come online. Nice. Got but ton of amenities. Um, we could build another... Actually, we'll hold off on a, a little bit because um, we got uh, plenty of housing. Construction and jobs, so. complete. All right, let's get those mining stations online. All right, let's see if we can finally recruit a scientist. No, nope, not quite yet. Construction complete. Right. Our new scientist is here. We will send her to survey. This is good. This is looking like a lot of this space is going to be ours. Our fleet. Recon pass completed. Nice. Doria has been surveyed. Oh, we should grab some more of those. We can uh, claim that system. Anomaly found. All right, we found some uh, debris in orbit. Uh, we'll leave it for now because it's challenging. Science division report success. All right, quantum theory. Nice. System reconnaissance completed. All right, let's go for energy credits. Uh, they can survey that system and then come on down. Nice. Our scientists Construction are complete. Getting increasingly successful. Recon pass completed. We'll keep building up our mining stations. Toxic terraforming Canada discovered. Our detailed survey of Wistral 2C has revealed that although it's currently unsuitable for life due to the noxious gases present in its atmosphere, it is capable of sustaining a breathable atmosphere. Through a con concerted effort, we may be able to break the moon's toxins down into less lethal compounds. Terraforming this moon would theoretically be possible, but we do not yet possess the means to accomplish this monumental task with within a realistic time frame. Fascinating. System reconnaissance completed. All right. Nice. Construction Survey. complete. All right, and we've also revealed a, another terraforming candidate. It may have supported life in the distant past. Interesting. It would be possible, but we don't possess the technology quite yet. Construction complete. Um, let's get... We can pick up this system as well. You're all done, too. Let's get this one. 
Mm-hmm. Anomaly found. Nice. We have detected life signs coming from somewhere beneath the barren and lifeless surface of this moon. What manner of or- organism could possibly live there? Science division report success. Nice. We got society research done. Let's get uh, planetary unification. We'll get a nice lump sum of unity and uh, additional tanks. Science division report success. All right, we've got basic strike craft, nice. Um, and then I think next we'll pick up some uh, speed. I guess uh, we could go for some ship upgrades. Upgrade our fleet. All right. Some kind of burrowing silicon-based life forms inhabit a vast network of tunnels beneath the barren surface of Taurus 11A. As best as we can tell, the creatures feed off of rocks, and there's evidence to suggest that they possess a rudimentary form of intelligence. Their tunneling efforts have shuffled large amounts of valuable minerals to the surface. Recon pass completed. System survey. The CNS Pathfinder has managed to isolate a residual ion trail in the Neat system that is identical to the one that was produced by the Chrysanthemum's engines. It must have originated from the Hyacinth. Although the faint ion trail is over a century old, science officer Gillian Sandler has managed to track it on an outward trajectory towards a previously uncharted star. We have entered its coordinates into the situation. The hyacinth must be there. Uh, by chance, we stumbled upon a faint alien signal during the survey of this moon. The source appears to be a small object in orbit. The signal contains no message. Could it be a distress transponder? Let's take a look at that. Uh, situation. System reconnaissance completed. Construction complete. Construction complete. We have located what we believe could be an ancient subspace gateway near Zoltar's Maw. It appears to have been part of a galaxy-wide network of similar stations which, when operational, allowed for near instantaneous travel from one part of the galaxy to another. At some point after its initial construction, its connection to the rest of the network was severed. It now offers one, the only one valid destination uncharted group of stars just beyond our galaxy that our astronomers have designated as the L Cluster. Even more intriguing, the gateway was built entirely by microscopic nanites of an unknown design. Although the gateway emits a faint power signature, it has been deliberately locked into some kind of maintenance loop that prevents its activation. Until we find some way of aborting this process, the L Cluster will remain beyond our reach. New sit rep. All right, our fleet is upgraded, and our borders have expanded. Excellent. Let's get some more research stations online. Reinforce our fleet. This was the last known system of the high center. All right, ancient life pod. An abandoned life pod was detected in close orbit. It is covered in scorch marks, presumably from when the pod's mothership exploded, and preliminary scans suggest it was built more than 5,000 years ago. The crew of the CNS Pathfinder managed to open this pod, revealing the withered remains of a reptilian alien clad in a, in a resplendent uniform. Clutched in one of its claws was a small picture of another individual from the same race, possibly a mate or weird leader. Interesting. System reconnaissance completed. Well, I guess we've confirmed aliens do exist. Alright, we got our next tradition. Um, probably gonna go for Starbase upkeep. And then Get another system surveyed. Nice. All right. May end up going to that one after that. We'll see. 
Nice, our leaders gained a level. Construction complete. Let's see. Cool. Withdrawal. Um, let's head over to Taurus. Actually, we'll hold off. Looks like we definitely want to make our way this way. We have a desert world that we could colonize. I think I'm going to just start colonizing this world right now. Low habitability, but we'll be fine. I like Rhea. We'll System reconnaissance completed. Nice. System reconnaissance completed. Right. Um, the hard hat. Ooh, seven power down here. Let's pick this up. Hold on. Actually, anomaly found. Want a star base over there? All right. Unusual readings suggest there may be more to this desolate world. Let's research that. All right. We've got a savanna world. We're definitely gonna want to go pick that up. Oh, it looks like this is the nebula. Nice, we found another archaeological site, Deja Vu Day. Uh, scans uncovered an artificial chamber deep, deep beneath the surface. Its anomaly found are unknown. Magnification revealed an excavated shaft leading from the surface to the subterranean vaults. Further analysis will require, require sending an expedition down to the surface. All right, and then uh, <laughs> we found a uh, strange mountain formation. Efforts to map the surface to identify a strange mountain range in the southern hemisphere it doesn't appear to have formed naturally. Let's go ahead and research that. Weapon testing. It seems the apocalypse has come to Soteria many times over. Surface scans reveal that the planet has been scorched, bombarded, seared, and peppered in what is surely some of the most extensive weapon testing we have yet to encounter. Though countless attempts have been made to obliterate the planet entirely, it appears the aliens had not yet developed the technology for it. Science officer Eleanor Gibbons has collected an assortment of broken weapon remains in the hopes of recreating their designs. Alright, let's analyze New this. New rep. Anomaly found. We found a strategic resource, Zro. And a this toxic, toxic and lifeless world appears to have once been inhabited by a moderately advanced pre-space civilization. The ruins of their cities are strewn across the surface. Interesting. Alright, let's uh, get them to research the project. Cool. Gigantic skeleton. What was previously thought to be an assorted mountains in the southern hemisphere of Tron Day 5 have been identified as the massive skeletal remains of a single colossal alien life form. The bones have been dated as 3.4 billion years old, but our scientists have ruled out that Tron 5 could have supported life on that scale at any point in the planet's history. The science officer, Lerado Thwain, has prepared a special research project to, to delve further into this mystery. New sitrep. Interesting. Keep looking. Alright, uh, research is complete. Nice. Uh, let's pick up the blue laser. Alright, alien lasers. We've learned much from analyzing the remains of the weapons. Uh, the recovered fragments were from a mounted direct directed energy weapon system that emits a highly focused energy ray that can be used with great results in space warfare. Science officer Eleanor Gibbons recommends we use our finds either by developing armor to counter the lasers or by recreating the weapons for ourselves. Um, I think we'll go to... Um, we could go for blue lasers or... Let's go for the materials. Runaway greenhouse effect. There's evidence that the current climate is the cause of a runaway greenhouse effect triggered by massive amounts of pollution. The oceans have boiled away and the moon is permanently enclosed in a dense cloud layer due to the thick atmosphere. Uh, scattered ruins from the ingenious civilization can still be found on the surface, suggesting an overpopulated culture that perished in the mid to late stages of the industrial age. What a waste. Interesting. Runaway greenhouse effect. Cool. Construction complete. 
Excellent. Our first human colony. Our colony ship managed with surprising grace to maneuver between the massive peaks that are so prevalent in the jagged landscape of Rhea. A touchdown in a sheltered valley that will serve as an ideal first landing site. The ship has been permanently converted into the administrative headquarters of the new settlement, and its reactor core is in the process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up around the former starship's massive hull as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers, the first human city on an alien world. A great day for the Commonwealth of Man. We have our first colony forming. Nice. Let's see, our ship is sitting on Special right. project complete. Let's see, the continued studies of the massive skeletal remains have managed to shed some light on how the creature ended up on the planet. There are very faint residual energy readings that indicate some kind of dimensional portal exists briefly towards the rear of the skeleton. Science officer Lerado Thwain theorizes that the creature passed through this gateway from another dimension, only to quickly perish in a hostile environment. Why it did this and where it came from are questions that may never be answered. Astounding. Okay, let's, uh... Anomaly found. Keep surveying. Uh, some kind of unknown structures are floating. They appear to be aerostatic lift. Interesting. System reconnaissance completed. CNS Diligent reports no signs of the Hyacinth in the Tron system. We should continue our search elsewhere. Alright, I guess we'll keep up the search. Uh, we'll start surveying around here. In the Ethereum Nebula. A faction founded in a new faction has recently been getting, gaining traction in the international political landscape of the Commonwealth of Man. Led by Governor Henneke Mueller, they call themselves the Human Purity Vanguard. Their members seek to assert the primacy of the human species by curtailing the rights of aliens if necessary. A disgruntled faction will be a source of trouble, but one that approves the government's actions could prove useful. Alright, another uh, faction led by Grand Marshal Owen Galloway. The Military Industrial Complex. Their members have been pushing hard for us to assert our military dominance over the rest of the galaxy. Interesting. Aerostat Colonies. A ruined network of aerostat colonies dating back at least three millennia can be found in low orbit of this gas giant. Their original function appears to have been gas mining but they have since been abandoned and reoccupied as many different races and pirate groups. Uh, the colonies have been thoroughly stripped of anything even remotely valuable, but the mere fact that they are still aloft after all this time makes them an interesting subject of engineering research. Fascinating. Alright, let's get a starbase built here. We can pick up that desert world. <laughs> Construction complete. Alright, oh, we got our next tradition. Let's go with the pop growth speed. Let's see how our colony, our colony is doing. It will be complete by 2212. Okay. System reconnaissance completed. She's stubborn. Uh, she has become more experienced, but with this experience has come an increasing stubbornness. The governor has become quite obdurate and is having difficulty accepting new ideas. Interesting. Wow, this is quite a system. We should pick this up as soon as we possibly can. Tara, how are you doing? You need more jobs. Let's build another city district. Construction complete. Let's see. Alright, we got 
Tronde or Trond. Construction complete. There, and then we'll pick up this uh, system. Probably should keep building up our military force. First contact with mysteri mysterious aliens in the Deneb system. For now, we have codenamed them Charlie Spooks until we can find out more about them. If they possess language, we should decipher it so that we can ex assess how much of a threat they pose. Interesting, we need to get someone on that right now. New Terra is an uproar following the news of unidentified ships sighted in the void. If their intentions are unknown, it would be prudent to assume the worst. Worry. Anomaly found. Uh, faint traces of weapon radiation, um, indicative of military spacecraft, have been detected on Tibicor. Let's leave that be for now. We can come get that later. System reconnaissance completed. All right, we found a rare crystal strategic resource. All right, let's see how the pilgrim is doing. Going to a new system. Construction complete. System reconnaissance completed. Right. Good. We can start building the mining station and the research station. Anomaly found. All right. Initial analysis of the asteroid's composition points towards potentially interesting finds. Let's go ahead and do that. Construction complete. Recon pass completed. All right. Since these are basically ours at this point... This looks nice. We should uh, <laughs> definitely go for that. Um, you should go here instead. All right. Um, let's see. Where else do we want to expand? Maybe we can shoot for this, and then we'll come look at these later. So go ahead. We'll go down there. We'll claim this system. These will be ours as well. Right, fragments of life. It appears that the asteroid and the surrounding debris originate from a former planet. Deep within the center, we can find traces of extremely valuable alloys. There are also hints of bacterial life that have now died in the vacuum of space. This shows us that the celestial body once bore the promise of life. Ooh, that will be extremely, very, very good. And uh, we can start getting ready to pick up this system. Uh, and then we'll colonize this planet as well. Oh, looks like it's got an asteroid belt as well. Uh, we'll call this planet Osiris. All right. A new world has been secured for our colonists. All right, Rhea has been founded. All right, this will probably be an industrial world. We'll start with the city district, though. Get some basic jobs and more space. Um, we got our lump sum of unity. I'm probably going to go for uh, defense ground planning since we are a very military state. There's uh, Rhea. Our newest, newest colony. Colonizing this world as well. Let's get this desert world colonized. We get enough uh, stuff. Alright, uh, courier network. Nice. And we get our first ascension perk. Uh, I 
think we're going to go with uh, technological ascendancy so we can get a lot more technology. <laughs> Alright, encounter in the Bardium. We have made first contact with the mysteri mysterious aliens of the Bardium system. For now, we have codenamed them Zulu Bogies until we can find out more about them. If they possess a language, we should decipher it so that we can access. so we can assess how much of a threat they pose. Interesting. What is that? Stations to build. How are we looking on our colony ship? Anomaly found. Halfway done. All right. Strong energy emissions of an unknown origin make this asteroid stand out from the rest of its peers in this crowded asteroid field. All right. Charlie Spooks. Long range scanners have picked up readings in the Deneb system that could best be described as giant heat blobs. Also, we've uh, encountered the Andigonj Society. Uh, we've detected the presence of a barbarian and alien civilization in the Musqual system. They are presently in what could be considered the late medieval age, with a firm grasp of metallurgy and a feudal society. The printing press is accelerating the spread of knowledge. Nice. Uh, we should establish an observation post. Looks like some aliens to conquer. What do these Xenos look like? Interesting. Alright, uh, weapons target range. The asteroid is pockmarked with craters from weapon blasts and appears to have been used as a target range by someone roughly 2 million years ago. Residual energy readings suggest they tested an increasingly exotic weaponry, including subspace bombs and some kind of singularity generator. Our scientists would be interested in studying the unusual energy echoes that remain. That's interesting. Recon pass completed. Alright, Pathfinder, what are you doing? Let's go ahead up to here, we'll survey these two, and then we'll come back and do this one. And that one. Then you, when you're done with that, will go this way. How close are you? 70%? Almost done? Recon pass completed. Excellent. Let's pick it up. Where do we want to go from here? We could come up in this direction, which I'm probably going to do. Actually, uh, no, just explore to that system, and then we'll see if we want to come back and survey these. Construction complete. Nice. All right, uh, let's head over to Musqual. Then we could uh, start studying these filthy alien primitives. Tracking spaceborne life form. Alright, where is that? Oh, here's some of those aliens. Alright, desiccated. We found signs of water all over this world. For all we know, it should still be here. The temperatures are within normal range for liquid water to exist, and there is still an atmosphere, albeit tenuous. And yet, everything here is dry, and what, vegeta what vegetation exists is parched. 
In addition, scans have revealed traces of another spacefaring civilization on the planet. The archaeological team will have two goals, find out what happened to the water, and understand what other spacefarers have been doing here. Most hypotheses are already linking the two, and some in the team believe that this might have been a work of water thieves. Interesting. We got our first encounter with some uh, alien life. Spaceborn alien life. Interesting. And then we. Oh, it's, he's already doing that. Tracking spaceborn life form. It's over here. It's the same thing. Construction complete. Alright, let's get those mining stations up and running. System reconnaissance completed. Alright, a lot just happened. <laughs> Evading hostile fleet. Encounter in Petra. Let's get rid of that for now. Looks like we have another strange form of spaceborne alien life. Um made first contact with aliens, we'll call them beautiful robots. Interesting. Um, we are still making contact with other aliens, so we'll move on from that for now. I guess we can't go that way, so we will go ahead this way. Nice. Taking evasive action. So I guess it's two nebulas then. Alright, Zulu bogeys. We picked up readings of unknown nature. The signals seem to follow some kind of repeating syntax, which could indicate sapient origin. Should be investigated further. They seem to be concentrated around a single space station, although it's unclear whether the forms whether this forms part of a larger spacefaring civilization. Interesting. Uh, we found the Hyacinth. Nice. We have located the Hyacinth, the great arc ship parked in a stable orbit over Affirmaki 2. No power signatures have been detected from within its hull. Um, we are not picking up any distress beacons. An armed boarding party should be sent to investigate the ship's interior. New sit rep. Science division report success. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and figure out what happened. Nice, and we got uh, afterburners. That's good. And then uh, we could pick up this metal armor. I think we're gonna go with the minerals though. And then we'll increase survey speed. Construction complete. All right, cool. Let's get that observation post up and running. And the mining station. All right, let's see what our factions want. Leviathan Slayer. We're not going to be able to do that for a while. Uh, low naval capacity usage. And then uh, giant massacre. Okay, so they really want us to kill something giant, huh? Interesting. All right, our next colony is heading out. Let's get some more minerals, and then we will colonize this planet as well. Uh, we'll call it... Tindis. Alright, our first... Well, second colony ship. Ready to enter hyperspace and head out to our new world. Nice. Zulu bogey is a terrible sight to behold as we begin to pick up more and more visual images of the aliens known as the Zulu bogeys. It was inevitable that these would eventually be leaked to the wider public. 
Their appearance has provoked widespread dismay amongst our populace who have taken to describing them as repulsive blot twi or bolt twiddlers. Alre already many are demanding that we take action to deal with the new mammalian threat. Let's see. Repulsive aliens, xenophobe ethics attraction, or faction approval. It can't be that bad. Uh, no, we, uh, <laughs> we will be very careful with them. Skywatch has sighted a space-born life form. Alright, encounter in Kassafdun. They made first contact with mysterious aliens. Uh, bravo bogeys. Special project complete. Alright, the Hyacinth has been boarded. Our boarding party has returned from the Hyacinth with a gruesome effort. Sorry, with a gruesome report. Human remains and amounts consistent with the Ark ship's entire complement of a quarter million colonists were found on board. Most seem to have died of starvation, but there were also signs of small arms fire and cannibalism. We were unable to recover the captain's log from the archives on the bridge. Or no, we were able to recover the captain's log. Ark ship Hyacinth, ISA 06, United Nations Ulysses Initiative. Officer Logbook, Logbook Captain Ronald F. Gunderson. Accessing data, corruption detected, attempting repairs. Four log entries successfully retrieved. Alright, log one. We are two months out of Earth and proceeding on course. Things have gone smoothly so far. The colonists are fast asleep and Dr. Kolbeck has reported strong vitals across the board. Our journey has taken us beyond the outer planets and we are now approaching the Oort Cloud. We have soon reached the subspace, the subspace phenomenon, this supposed wormhole, that the other ARC ships have already entered. I have made my res reservations about wormhole travel, known in previous log entries, but we'll know if this works soon enough. We, we actually made it. Astro Astrogation is still working on getting a fix on our position, but judging by the stars outside, I think it's a safe bet to say that we're not in Kansas anymore. Unfortunately, the Hyacinth suffered a major engineering casualty that resulted in a complete loss of power, and we're currently running on batteries. Colbeck has informed me that we may need to wake up the colonists. I'm on my way down to engineering now to see why Maggie is taking her sweet time getting the reactor up and running again. Hopefully, we can get underway soon and begin our search for, for the Chrysanthemum's colonists. The situation has gone from bad to worse. There is no longer any realistic hope of restarting the reactor, and the last of the Hyacinth power reserves were spent in our attempt to reach this misbegotten system. We had hoped to find some place habitable to set her down, but no such luck. We've got enough juice in the batteries to keep life support going for a few years, but with a quarter million colonists up and about, the Hyacinth's food supplies won't last the month. I've called a meeting with the all department heads, we need to come up with some sort of plan. This will likely be my final log. My bridge crew is either dead or missing, and a group of colonists are trying to force their way into the bridge as, as I speak. Our main food supplies ran out weeks ago, and there, there are the reports of cannibalism. I kept a small stash of food for the crew to keep the old girl running a little while longer, hoping for some kind of miracle, I guess. When the surviving colonists found out, they, they're through the doors. Back, damn you. Keep your distance. I'm the captain of this ship, and I'll be damned if I'm gonna let you butcher me like a... Ah That's a big oof. Alright, final conclusion. We now have a pretty clear picture of the grim fate that befell the Hyacinth, their crew, and the colonists she was carrying. Had circumstances been different, it could very well have been the chrysanthemum driving, drifting above the firm key too, like a silent tomb. A sobering reminder of the dangers humanity is faced with in a cold and uncaring inverse. The Hyacinth will now be towed into orbit around New Terra and converted into a museum as soon as the human remains have been cleared out. Despite its tragic history, the Ark ship is almost identical to the one that brought our ancestors here from Earth, and our sociologists could learn much from it. Perhaps something good will come out of this. Alright. What a, uh, what a sad time. Um, let's see. They're still making first contact. Anyways, I think that's probably going to be about it for this episode. 
Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, we've had a, a lot going on in this first episode. Um, I really appreciate uh, if you'd uh, like and subscribe. I'm just getting my channel out there. But uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. And uh, have a great day, y'all.